So guys, yesterday we made some soup with whatever we could have found, found in our fridge. Today as well, we're going to be making a very simple lunch. And what's interesting is that I have some leftover soup broth. And with this soup broth, I'm going to be making my rice today. So we're making use of what's in our fridge once again. We're using some leftover broth to make rice and I'll also be making some sweet spicy barbecue wings so guys I went ahead and transferred my broth to a pot that we're going to be cooking our rice in and I'm going to go ahead and put the pot on the stove now I'm going to allow it to heat up and see the consistency of the broth and decide if I want to add a little bit of water to lighten it a bit before adding our rice so let's go ahead and get this on the stove all right guys so moving right along to getting our chicken all seasoned so i'm going to be starting with this complete seasoning by badia and i like to season my chicken healthily guys so don't think it's too much seasoning i love well seasoned food and then i'm going to be going in with this seasoned salt by badia followed by some black pepper my black pepper is almost done and then I'm going to be adding some of this green seasoning by Caribbean flavors we massage the seasoning into our chicken please remember that as soon as you're finished dealing with the chicken you wash your hands right away to ensure that you don't spread any bacteria across your surfaces all right guys so I got a nice large pan because I want my chicken to be spaced out and I'm just spraying the pan with some cooking spray so that our chicken won't stick and then I'm gonna just lay them in the pan So our chicken is ready for the oven. I'm just gonna go ahead and push them in and then we're gonna work on the sauce and we are baking these uncovered. They're gonna bake for about 45 minutes until they're nice and not really crispy, but nice and firm. So just look at our soup broth boiling away and I'm gonna go ahead and add some rice that I just washed. Just gonna go ahead and give the pot a little stir. And guys, I can already taste this. I already know that this is going to taste so good. I'm trying to get out these little pieces of potato. Didn't realize some potato got away in the broth, so you can just get rid of these. 
So we're basically just gonna leave our rice to cook because this doesn't need any added seasoning or anything. The broth is perfect. All right guys, so we're gonna move on to making our barbecue sauce. Now I want the sauce to be well seasoned. So I went ahead and cut up some onions, sweet peppers and garlic to add to it. To this, I'm just gonna be going in with my barbecue sauce. Then I'm gonna be going in with some ketchup. Followed by some red pepper flakes. And this is for the spice. And lastly, we're gonna be adding some sugar. Once we have all the components in here, we're just going to go ahead and give this a good stir and then we're going to transfer it to the stove to cook it a bit. Let those onions, sweet peppers and garlic cook down in it and this should be super flavorful and yummy. So this is our rice guys, it's looking super yummy. But before I actually stir it up, I'm going to leave it to sit for a while and just steam off the fire and then we'll come back and fluff it up, okay? So our rice has been sitting for a while. I'm just going to go ahead and stir it up. And it's always good to let your rice sit for a while so it loosens up from the edges, it loosens up from the bottom of the pot and all that good stuff. This rice is looking so good. Yes. Let's give it a taste. Oh wow. This is so well seasoned. Mm -hmm. I could eat this rice alone. It doesn't need to have any meat with it. It's so good. So, so good. Yeah, so this is all rice. We're gonna go ahead and continue with our chicken. So guys, this is how our chicken is looking. Ooh, 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 ooh. So delicious. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna transfer these into the pot with the sauce, and then we're gonna put them back in the oven. So here is our chicken well smothered in the sauce and I'm just going to go ahead and push these back into the oven just to let the sauce, just to let the chicken soak up all that saucy goodness and then our chicken will be finished. I'm going to move on to prepping some coleslaw and some veg. So I prepped the veg for my coleslaw off camera and my coleslaw is pretty simple. I just use a blend of um, regular cabbage, red cabbage and carrots and then I'll be adding some nutmeg, some sugar and some mayo and that's as simple as it is. Um, some people like to add like vinegar and onions and so forth to the coleslaw to get that kind of tangy flavor. I absolutely hate when coleslaw is tangy. I just like it nice and sweet and simple, okay? So let me just go ahead and blend these together. Make sure your hands are clean, of course. I'm such a klutz. <laughs> I was feeling something. <sighs> My surface is clean, so I can go ahead and just throw back in whatever drops out. And then I'm gonna just go ahead and add a dash of nutmeg. Add 
some sugar. And the sweetness is up to you. I try not to make it too, too sweet. And then, of course, we need our mayo. And I am not a mayo lover, so I'm not going to be adding too, too much mayo in this. But enough mayo to make it creamy enough. We need to add a bit more meal. Let me see how it comes out. Just gonna go in with a little more meal. And here we have it guys, feast your eyes on this very simple, budget friendly lunch that looks and tastes so delicious, I can't wait to actually eat this full plate of food, yes guys, remember to give the video a thumbs up, leave a comment to let me know what you think of this meal. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'll definitely see you guys on my next.